Here's Slipper Rock head coach Sean Lutz, a 54-19 uh, win over Shippensburg tonight in the home opener. 14 straight home openers uh, won and 15 straight home night games. Really big crowd, over 7,000 tonight. Uh, you gave up 10 points early on in the game, down 10 nothing. then you scored 48 straight and ran away with the game. Overall thoughts? You don't want to write the script of how it started off, oh, John, that's for sure. You know, uh, great home opener, a great atmosphere here, down 10 nothing. Uh, you know, but no one panicked. We got a veteran football team. I really was happy with the defense. They stepped up tonight. I thought rolling was rolling, you know, and our receivers are receivers. And, uh, you know, it was good to get that last score right before half with Chapa. The offense went down the field. They wanted me to go for them. I'm glad I kicked the field goal up three scores because the new ship was getting the ball in the second half. But overall, you know, the, the, it was a good performance tonight. I'm still disappointed in how many penalties we have. We got to get that cleaned up because we're going to play better football teams. And a good football team's got to be disciplined, so we got to definitely clean up on the penalties. Yeah, you mentioned that 22 penalties for 180 yards tonight. It's stark contrast between uh, between last week yeah. and uh, you know a lot of procedural things, a lot of line of scrimmage things, things like that. Not too many personal fouls or, or big major penalties That's like right. that, but a lot of holding, a lot of grabbing, a lot of things like that to clean up. Uh, is that a big concern moving forward? No question about it. I mean, let's just put blame on us. We got to do a better job. You can't argue with the pass interferences, the holdings, the clips things like that. So that stuff's got to get cleaned up and you're exactly right. We'll, we'll address that this week up coming up and uh, we got to shut that down because we have that many penalties in the, in the close game we're going to lose. And uh, looking at the offensive side of the ball there, Roland Rivers, 369 yards, four touchdown passes tonight, no interceptions. He's uh, he's over uh, over 800 yards or, or near 800 yards passing with 10 touchdowns and no interceptions, no turnovers at all through two games this year. Talk about what you're getting out of your quarterback right now. He's playing at a high level, man. I mean, right now, if he keeps this up, he could be a Harlan Hill finalist, you know, the Heisman of Division Two. And uh, Coach Nugenbauer's doing a great job with the new offense. But, you know, it's that year experience. And he's very talented. And he has Jermaine Wynn, Henry Litwin, and Sin Q Sweeting, and Ankadir Dixon gets in the scoreboard. So we have some weapons, but he's just doing a tremendous job. And uh, some of those guys, Henry Litwin and Jermaine Wynn Jr., both over 100 yards for the second straight game, both with two touchdowns for the second straight game. They're both uh, over 300 yards on the year with four touchdowns already in two games. Uh, how do you how do you defend those two guys if you're an opposing defense? I don't know. The good thing about they're juniors as well. They got another year, so. They, they just on the same page. They're tireless workers. They work so hard with Roland at practice, knowing where they're going to be. And, uh, you know, Roland had a couple other ones that were in his hands out, some receivers that need to be caught. He was putting the, mo the ball on the money. And, um, you know, the biggest emphasis is, is with these guys is I want to run the football a little bit better. So that's something we got to do better upcoming week, and we will, and, and uh, uh, limit the, the penalties for sure. And uh, defensively, you give up 10 points there early in the first quarter. You're down 10 nothing uh, for the first time this year in a deficit, and then the defense kind of slammed the door really until you put your uh, until you put your kind of second, third string in there in the fourth quarter. Shippensburg didn't score another point. Uh, a couple big performances defensively. Brad Zaffram had an interception and, you know, maybe not show up a ton on the tackle side of things, but uh, I think five or six QB hurries he was in the backfield all night long, had a monster game out of him. Just talk about the defense. You know, I credit Domerzan and the staff. They, they really talk about being relentless, and our guys play hard, and I, I'm glad you brought up Brad. You know, you don't see in the stat sheet 10, 13 tackles, but if you tell me, you try to say right now, someone play at a better level right now with him at the linebacker position. He's playing at a high level. He gets in the backfield. He covers the pass. He, he, he gets in the run. I guess he can't hog tie guys on the ground and stuff like that. But he's just a workman's-like type of football player and give the defense a lot of credit. They play with a lot of pride. I thought the defensive line did well also. And 2-0 uh, and o to start the year. You get Millersville at home again next week with a chance to go to 3-0 and o before you get into conference play. Where's the focus of the team heading into uh, next week? Just about us. It really is about us uh, being a disciplined football team. And we got to worry about ourselves. We worry about ourselves. So I feel like we could beat anybody, but we got to get better. So we got a big week of practice. And Millersville has a lot of pride. And we got to get ready to beat those guys. Thanks. Congrats, Coach. Hey, thanks, John.